And here we are! Welcome to I'm Not Trying to Kill You! Um, we are gonna play some Blades in the Dark. My name is Ash. Uh, I'm your host and your GM. Um, and here in the city of Duskwall today we have three lovely scoundrels. Um, who I will get to introduce themselves and their characters. Starting with the person with their mouth full. Nah. Dang it! Got, nah -ha. You thought you had me. Hello. Today I am not in the dark, and I'm not wearing a robe, but that's okay. I'm Luke. My pronouns are they, them. I am a game designer. I am a GM for children. I wrote a role-playing game today that is a poem. It's about eating ramen. That sounds great. I could really use some ramen. Yeah. My character is called Belle, and they are a whisper. They were an exorcist in uh, the mines of Lockport back in Scovland, and now they're a big, sad, spooky weirdo who wears a lot of knitwear and loves to talk to ghosts. You do, you you do, you do, you bell. You do yeah, I'm just I'm just playing myself, you yeah. know, like. Um, V, hi, how are you going? Hello, I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, I'm V. Uh, my pronouns are she/her, and I am part of Story Brewers Role Playing. We make games like Good Society, which is a Jane Austen RPG. Today, though, I am playing a D who is a really lovely young girl who's new to the city she's living there she used to live on a farm but she's now moved into the city to live with her grandma but who is a bit crazy and uh, i guess she takes after her grandma a little bit because she's also fallen in with quite a cool crowd of scoundrels i, I love a lovely band of totally not criminals at all yep <laughs> They're good awesome. friends of mine. Yeah, cool. Um, and finally, we have Alana. Hello. Um, my name is Alana. My pronouns are she, her. Um, I was not here last week because I was unwell, but now I am here and I am excited. Um, I do a lot of things. Um, I teach. I run a charity. I make games. I desperately try to find free time in my life which is why I do this on my Mondays now it's great um as for this I'm playing a character named Nightfall uh she is um a spider who was living on the streets until recently um is still sort of living on the streets but has a workplace now which is cool um she's from Takaros so she's a little bit weird uh looking in terms of what people expect um, and as a result, she's lost an eye in a, in a street scuffle. She's not exactly very good at uh, the fighting um, and her eyes are a bit odd. So someone decided to remove one of them for her, which was very nice of them. Mm, cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. All right. Well, last time we managed to finish a mission and uh, add, do a downtime and then run another mission, which means that we're up to the downtime phase again, um, which will be a first, our first, um, our first downtime for Nightfall. So, um, and because you're away last week, I'm going to give you the bonus of an extra, an extra downtime action for free. So um, you can you can use that however you like to to talk about what you were doing while everyone else was running a spare job. Um, um, I also have calculating, which gives me or somebody else an extra extra downtime action. Oh, is, gosh. Yeah. Well, so you got sorry. you got plenty. You got down to, downtime actions for days. I'd just like to correct a very successful job. Well, sorry, yes, a very successful job that, yeah. I know nothing about it, but I don't believe you. <laughs> did we, Ash, do you remember, did we do um, payout and heat? and entanglements last time yes we did i have notes here yep, about cool. the awesome i, I just I, I, not remember. let me because remember that we rolled entanglements uh up front and y'all y'all grabbed let me find it for us uh oh yeah that's right i have you a big, all rolled bad uh, show of force well, of i, I have a big notice. i have a big hing thing here saying uh saying show of force in in big big capital letters so yeah. Right. Yeah. Um so let's 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 so 
um, Alana, because you weren't here last uh, last time, we'll go over the the downtime procedure. We've done the like the start of downtime procedure, which I feel is actually an end of mission procedure, but it's kind of the same thing. Yep. Um, so we we got a little bit of heat uh, because we did some did some things. Did some uh, crime. We, we did some crime. <laughs> did some crime. Uh, have not done the time because fuck that. Um, we gained some reputation with some factions. We lost some reputation with some factions. It, it's, uh, we roll and we generated some entanglements that might happen afterwards. So, uh, yeah. When we do, what's that? The Dimmer Sisters are our best friends now. Oh, the Dimmer Sisters are, the Dimmer Sisters are all about you guys. You're, you're Excellent all, you're, you. I like the Dimmer Sisters. Yeah, exactly. You're going to be so pleased when you hear how we pulled that off. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, um, I don't believe that either. You're the <laughs> most suspicious human being that I've ever encountered. <laughs> um, so, um, I mean, yeah, let's let's do like uh, so. Each player during downtime has two downtime actions that they can spend. Um, those uh, from that with those downtime actions, they can. Um, where am I? Uh, they can acquire an asset. They can do a long-term project. They can recover from their injuries. They can work to reduce the heat that is on the crew. Um, they can train to improve their skills, or they can indulge their vice to reduce stress. Um, so there's a bunch of these. Um, if you're looking in the PDF, um, it's like page 153 or page 163, if you because there's 10 pages at the start of my PDF at least. Um, but yeah, it's um, a, a bunch of different things that you can do. So what we might do is we might get one from Luke and V, and then we'll tick through and and we can so that we can um, kind of get the get a bit of a rhythm going. Um, I would like to request that V go first, so that I can walk a meter that way and get my copy of the book. Sure. Sure. I'm. I've got. I've got something planned. I think what a D is going to do is going to indulge her vices, and by that, I mean my vice of obligation. Yeah, to my go, go hang out with Gran. Yeah, because uh, last we left our relationship, I'd stolen some really like rare ingredients from her apothecary, and she yeah. was not pleased about that. <laughs> yeah, that was not was not a thing that she was real real, real feeling real good about. But yeah, let's um. Let's roll the dice and see w what happens. We we so like we totally get the shot of you like like nervously like opening the door to your like grandma's shop and being like, <laughs> uh, hi, and she's totally like sitting there like waiting, just yeah, being like, exactly, absolutely, You're home, you know, yeah. This is like past midnight, right after the uh, the last mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. Okay, no bonus dice. I'm just gonna roll it. Let's see how we go. Uh, okay, so you clear one stress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Great. Excellent. So, um, so I'm for, relieved to be home, but... <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, so yeah, vice. Indulging your vice for, uh, for, uh, Alana's and the audience's sake. Um, when you indulge your vice, you clear stress from your character. Um, so you go to your purveyor, which, which for, uh, for Adi's uh, obligation is her grandmother. Um, and then ba -ba 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 -ba, you roll to find out how much you relieve. So it's it's a resistance roll in reverse. So rather than getting stress levels, you clear stress levels. So um, where am I? It's your, you use your worst, you, you use your worst resistance. So yeah, that's <laughs> why you only have one dice. Cool. Excellent. Um, I think that's my resolve is low. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. So you so you clear one stress. Good job. <laughs> you might need to indulge your vice some more. So this is totally like you you come in and she's like, we're going to have a conversation <laughs> about like, what belongs to the shop and what <laughs> belongs to you and how much you've been putting into the shop recently and how much time you've been spending with your friends. <laughs> and it's like there's like we we just like pan away from like a D's face of like oh god I'm going to die. <laughs> All right. Well, that was, yeah. Uh huh. Wither withering moment. Uh, yeah. Luke, do you have a thing you want to do? I do. I do. I'm gonna go on a cool adventure. That sounds neat. With my new friend Holtz. Oh, great. 
And so I think, I don't know that in the television show we see any of this adventure. I think the the scene we get in this montage is like the aftermath. So we see just like um, an old building, um, like a big ten- ramshackle kind of tenement type housing and it's super fucked up and like the roofs are all missing so like no one lives there anymore uh except like really desperate people um and there's no doors yeah, there's always, in any there's of the squatters right like... yeah yeah and there's there's no doors in any of the right like in any of the door frames or anything and then uh we like cut to like a closer shot of one of the doors and we just see like a door open from nowhere only there's no door in the frame and then uh yeah bell just like steps out followed by this enormous like we said 500 kilos so what like four foot tall mm-hmm. oh four like, and a half yeah yeah four four and a half foot tall massive blue glowing mist or like electrified pig yep and yeah holtz and i just like step back into like normal dusk vol yep you've been and like, I just, like reach down and like ruffle holtz behind the ears uh-huh good boy holtz i have questions you have <laughs> very good nose for this sort of thing my grandfather he is always saying if you want to find the valuable mushroom ask a pig to help you mm. Luke, are you working on your long-term project? Yes, I'm working on my long-term project <laughs> with my with my good boy Holt. And I yep. think I think there's a thing about help, but I don't know if it applies to just like you get an extra die if someone is helping you with a long-term with a, if a contact is helping you with a with a, a friend or contact. Uh, is Holt is a friend? Yay, we're friends. This is good. This is nice. What did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? I befriended this Alana, you might want to you might want to frame a scene where you get to ask people questions. Yeah, I I befriended this poor lonely ghost pig who is so beautiful and majestic. I don't know if I actually genuinely want to ask questions, though, Ash. I feel like my life. Just leave it. Just leave it. Yeah, it it might be. I mean, honestly, it might be better for like your your character's mental health. (laughs) Yeah. All right. So I I reckon this is a tune. Yeah, I think it is. I'm, I'm being a spook. Yeah, yeah, you're doing spooky things. I'm do, I'm being a spook, and I got a bonus die because my boy is helping me. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. All right. That's. I don't think there's anything else going on. No. This is the downtime thing. Supposition effect doesn't matter. Bonus dice one. Oh, that's not very good. I mean, a four's not bad. That's, I'll take that's... it. That's two ticks, isn't it? That's two ticks. I mean, do I want to spend some of Cruz's money? Do you do you want to spend some of the team money? Mm. Oh. Mm. No, I'll save it for later. Okay, sure. Um, because how many ticks are you on that on that clock now? Uh, seven twelve. Okay, that's 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 pretty healthy. I'm doing okay. Yeah. You okay. you you fair kicked it last time. Yeah. Map the city's ghost. Yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and so I think I just like I just like we just see me like sit down on the edge of one of the canals and like my legs are like dangling and like hanging like just above the water and Holtz is just like hunkered down next to me. And we're both just like looking into the water and I'm like, Did you know Holtz? Once I am told that there was a beautiful library a few blocks from here. And I start telling him the story of some building that, like, got horribly destroyed. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, like, the next place we're going to go check out. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, I just wanted to check where you're at with... Yeah, cool. All right. I just wanted to know where, the... where we're at as far as stats and things. Oh, uh, I thought you were about to ask about stress because I'm not doing so well there. Yeah, you're probably going to want to <laughs> deal with that at some point. Um, I mean, if, if, I don't, if, I, if I don't, I will literally trauma out because I have a trauma. So I have to every downtime. Oh, yeah. Good point. I will take a stress and trauma out if I don't indulge my vice. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, a little, just... I'm, I'm a little tempted, but we'll oh, see. Luke playing the playing the uh, the advanced, the advanced blaze in the dark of. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. Cool. Well, 
Um, have you, have you had a look at some of those downtime activities, Alana? Do you have a feeling about about any you'd like to do? I have a couple of thoughts. I have something that I think I would be doing while the other mission was taking place. Yeah, those are, um, I want one of them to be that. Yeah, and then I've got a couple of ideas about things that I might be doing kind of at this point in the timeline as well. So yeah, of cool. The other key thing to remember is that you can, like, just like the rest of the game, you can take, you can do whatever the fuck you want during downtime. Mm -hmm. The only ones that are limited are the, the, yeah, like, that's a good point. Actions. You can be like, I go, like, for, I like, go fishing, right? And if it doesn't have a mechanical action, then that just doesn't use up a downtime action. Yeah, like, I go check in with my contact, who's my boyfriend, and we, like, have a date and we smooch a bunch. Like, yeah. that's a valid, <laughs> it's a valid scene. Yeah. Cool. You don't gotta spend a downtime action smooching. Smooching is a free action. I was going to say smooching <laughs> is a free action. Yeah. See, I, I had a thought kind of along those Can lines. I, I was trying to work out how this <laughs> how this uh, plays out. So um, I have the vision that Salia, one of my, um, my, my friend, my contact, um, is at the moment kind of um, someone that I really enjoy going and sharing information with as like a professional kind of contact, mm -hmm. but that I also am very interested in seeing if I can like get in there uh, a little yeah. bit, a little bit more than just as a professional contact. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm wondering if that is something that comes into an action. Does that become like a I mean, project? So we, or we, have, is it like we have a, seen, we have seen people do like, uh, like, there is the classic of like starting a clock for like get get married, getting married, um, or alternatively like just like you know uh, getting someone to to be like to impress someone enough mm. that you're like that you that when you ask that like at the end of the clock is you're like okay but how about if we go out now and they're like yeah. okay I've been very impressed by you so yeah, if you wanted yeah. to do that as a thing then you you could you could definitely do that yeah um, so I'm thinking that. I uh, might try and start a project of impress Salia in a way that makes her think that maybe I'm more than just a professional contact. Very, um, very not nice. necessarily in a monogamous kind of way, because I don't really feel like uh, Nightfall is into that sort of thing. But uh, um, at least in a, I don't want uh, I don't I don't want it to be one of the things where it's like, oh, if it doesn't work out, then who cares? Because like I still want them to be my contact. Yeah. Um, yep. So it's like a little bit more work than the average hookup kind of. Yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this might actually be, you might actually be able to, to, like, do you want it to be so that she spends more time with you? Um, like, like, do you want her to be more involved in your life? Um, yes and no. Like, I just feel like I want to. At the moment, I feel like um, Nightfall is going to Salia and saying, "I have this information." do you have anything for me in that very kind of um, like they just have their clothes on together a lot. And I just kind of want that to not happen as much. Sure. Cool. Great. Let's start a clock for that. Um, Higher device. No need for long-term project. Just that's a good point. Words and be upfront about feelings. That, yeah, that, that makes sense to me. So let's, let's cool. have a look at Sally. Yeah. Cause like, yeah, you don't have to spend ages like, yeah. Uh, like working on a clock for that. We can just have a scene. Excellent. Where we... That's what I feel like is happening on the day while they're off doing a mission. I'm like, you know what? I have okay. A that's own. that's an, so. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 day that they were doing that was uh was the night of the Sutterly Pig, which is a kind of Christmassy uh <laughs> Christmassy uh celebration. So it so like I'm interested to know if you if there's a thing of like. Um, it's uh, of like being, you know, like the the subtly pig Eve, right? And mm -hmm. like catching up with Salia and having that conversation, and, and yeah, she, she, you totally have that moment of her of her being uh, like, there's totally that moment of like where where she's like, so are you um are you one of those people that uh, I know that a lot of people from Coleridge and those sorts of areas. Uh, are big into this whole family pig thing. I don't know. I know you're from kind of around there. Um, is is that a thing that you that you do? Um, it's something I see done. Uh, in you know through the windows of the people who have houses and places to stay. Uh, when you live on the street and your 
mother kind of abandons you. The whole family festivity thing doesn't really work. Yeah, and she's like, oh, I, I, I always forget that. That sounds really, really sad. Are you, are you, do you like, I know that my, my, my brother married into uh, one of those families and he always, he always invites me and I always turn him down. But if you're going to be on your own, we could, I don't know, like if you wanted to, you know, we could just go and hang, like it wouldn't be a, a thing. It would just be if you, if you wanted to like have that experience of like, uh, the the big meal. It's the no one should spend Thanksgiving alone beat. Um. So that's a that's a concept that I think makes her really uncomfortable. Um, like being with that many people that she doesn't know makes her feel very like, ah. Uh, um. So. Like, that sounds nice, company sounds nice, but big families that I don't have any part of, um, like, I, I stand out enough as it is, and I kind of gesture to, like, my face. Um, but, um, you stand out in a nice way. It makes you, you know, noticeable. But um, if you otherwise don't have anything you're doing, I'm happy to spend it with you. And not with the crowd, we could just I don't know. That do sounds like you're together. that sounds like you're making a sway roll. Hmm. Alright. How do I do this? So you're gonna click on the sway button on the thing. Uh-huh. What's my position? If your position is risky, she might just shut you the fuck down. Uh, uh, well, you know, what's the worst that could happen if she does that? It's fine. Um, I mean, the worst then, that could happen is you lose her as a contact. It's fine. Um, and what's my effect? Uh, standard. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, but Alana. Yes. But Alana, what if I have no idea what kind of items you have, but if you have any kinds of like fancy shit items, you could like Gifts. give her a fancy gift and maybe take that up to great effect. I'm just saying. <laughs> That only works if you have the correct weird item to give. I don't know what's on Alana's character sheet. <laughs> Maybe there's cool gifts. Definitely <laughs> cool gifts. don't have cool gifts on my. Um, That's uh, a, that feels like a like a mistake on the spider sheet. <laughs> yeah, the spider should always have cool gifts. Uh, yeah, that sounds I, have, I need to look this up. Things. I feel like someone some one of the playbooks has cool gifts. Really? Maybe it's, the, maybe it's the slide. Wait, no, the spider has a fine bottle of whiskey. Oh, yeah, that would yeah. 100%. If you, so if you mark yeah. off your fine bottle of whiskey... Mm. Uh, That's true. That would work. You would 100% get a bonus die on this. All right. Let's do that. Is it a bonus die or is it great effect? Oh, it's or great effect. Part? It's great effect. <laughs> uh, if you use the whiskey, you might actually get in her pants. Um, All right. I'm we'll down. See, we'll see. But not in a gross way. Not in a gross clear, way. Cat. No, in a in a I, in let's a just make helping that clear. yourself get past your own barriers way. But like let's just be clear. Yeah. Because that could also be red in a gross. Yeah. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> My favorite thing is one of our students is in the chat asking what the story is, and it's like, oh yeah, your tutor's doing a flirt. <laughs> 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 All right. <clears throat> Sway. Uh, risky position and great effect with that whiskey. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. <clears throat> that sounds successful. Have, yeah. I should have asked I you if you wanted to like push yourself or anything like or, or, yeah. or help or anything. Because that's, uh, yeah. yeah. She's like, <gasps> it, I mean, like, um, she's totally like, oh, no, um, like I just I was like it's the, my place is really small and um and like I've been really uh I I think I was supposed to go and like ha I've got a meeting with Buzz, uh, I've actually got a meeting with like uh Bazo Bars so um I've look it's been great chatting um I'll grab the bill 
Does she take the whiskey to go see Bardo? No, because we don't ever get to the point of the whiskey. Uh, okay. Right, we don't ever get to the whiskey point. Uh, um, so I would like to tell her that, um, that I definitely didn't mean, you know, going back to hers or something like that. Like, it doesn't matter if she has a small place. I wasn't planning to go to it. Um, but that my plans will probably be sitting in a bar somewhere and drinking. Um, well, I, I, might, I might find you. That Yeah, you know, like, um, I don't I'll know if I have, yeah. I, um, if I don't go to, you know, my brother's thing. Yeah, that's fine. There's usually some entertaining sorts out on that sort of a day because everybody else is at home with their families. So yep. I might yep. see you around. Yep. I think we, I think we a hundred percent like, like get the next night of uh, like the shot of you and you're like in a bar and then we just see like fireworks going off through like a, <laughs> through a, um, uh, through a window and we just, just no one shows up. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. If there's someone else in that bar, they'll be easy to pick up because they'll also be lonely. So that's definitely true. It's fine. Yep. Nightfall has like so, interest. You, uh, is that, a, is that, like... that sounds indulging like a, vice. That sounds like a consult role. Or are you in, or, or is that an, or is that an, is that a vice you want to indulge? Um. So like, I probably shouldn't indulge my vice because I only have one stress. That's probably that a good good call. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yes, I feel like that is that is um her yeah. kind of. Or her you could time. you could do a downtime action and spend a bunch of stress on it. <laughs> and then indulge your vice. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you could have yeah, spend stress that's on that sway, game. fuck that's it up and then yeah, That's yeah. fair. That's yeah. fair. All right, cool. That yeah. Okay, that ended up being a lot sadder than I expected. Uh <laughs> good good job team. Um playing the game right. Sad and dangerous. Um and spooky. Uh does anyone else wanna wanna pick one up? Anyone else got a yeah, I've got a, I know I probably shouldn't be starting more long-term projects, but <laughs> here we go. So I think the scene is like a D um, has like, she's like grumbling as she's going back into like in, in her room about her grandma, something else she said about like, yeah, you're supposed to close up the shop like this. And then she, she kicks like this body bag that was used in the sudary pig heist. And then picks it up and like takes a good look at it. And like on the seam, there's the place that it came from. <gasps> like the name oh, no. like Eckert. Um and she's and her, and her face goes really dark and she's like, What why is this here in my room? And what does uh Cora, Cora know about this? So I'm gonna start a long term project to find Eckert and Take him down, maybe that'll be the next. But find Eckert is just the yeah. The all right, project. cool. Yeah, I think. Did you make the assumption that he had left the city? Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. I right? think so. Like, I think there's like like finding out that he's still working here is yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, that's that's a small clock, friend. That's like a six <laughs> at most. Okay, so it's a six clock, and I roll to uh. Yeah, and you roll. You roll. What? What are you? Yeah, what are you rolling to try and to try and? Hmm. So I imagine I would roll like my consort with like. Um, I mean, actually, Derek's not here today, but like my first port of call would probably be Corin, no? Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to play that out, I would wait until next week. But yeah, if you yeah. Like to go true. looking around, you could consort yeah, for information, or you could study, or any. That's all, right. All so things, I, yeah. that yeah, I'll do that. I'll do like a consort, look around the city, um, sort of ask around, ask maybe some of Corin's friends as well. That's or, a good idea. Yeah, that yeah, sounds good. Around town. Okay, so I'll roll my consort. Uh risky standard. And do I want bonus die? Is it? Is there a devil's bargain? Ooh, good question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, he hears. Ah, <laughs> uh, like he knows that you're that you're looking for him is a hundred percent a devil's bargain that I can offer. I will take it. That sounds really fun. Awesome. <laughs> so he he hears that. Me specifically, or someone is looking for him. Uh, that I'm good with either. I think it's, I think I think he he can work out that it's you based on the like the the inquiries. 
right? Like, and the and the like descriptions. Um, I think he can be. I think like when when people talk about like one of them ill farm kids or whatever, right? Like, yeah, he he knows he knows where that's at. Y'all are real good at this. Uh, you you get a you get a tick on the clock. Woohoo! Nicely tick. done. Uh, no bad things happen. Um, oh, that's right. Um, Alana, uh, can you uh, can you please start a clock on your sheet? Uh, it is a uh, it is a six tick clock. Uh, so there's a section in the bottom right hand in the bottom right on the sheet called clocks. Yeah. It is a six segment clock, and you have yeah. one tick on uh, on it. Its name it, its name is uh is distanced from what was your character what was your contact's name salia uh, distance the uh, distant from salia so like if you keep being awkward with her you're gonna lose her as a contact oh dear just just we're just making sure that we're we're putting things in place there <laughs> gotta make the mechanics match the the fiction all right cool um yeah. Oh, so this is so. Yeah, you tick it. You tick it, and yeah, there's uh, and like, uh, and someone else is like, uh, when you're when you're like talking to one of these friends, uh, they're like, oh, Eckert. Well, yeah, I heard, I heard he was asking about you as well. So, and it's just that moment of like, oh no. Oh, uh, he's more than ready to meet me. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Yeah. Well, you tell him I'm gonna look. Real hard for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love Adi so much. All right, yeah. Um, but up, but up, but up. So, um, Adi, the other yes, question yes. I was going to ask is, <laughs> where are you when you get cornered? Uh, is it on this? Is it while you're out, like, con like looking for information when you get cornered by a bunch of a uh, bunch of coal miners? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I am. A bunch of coal miners show up with like one of the, uh, a couple of them have got like, uh, have got like um big like mining gloves on. One of them has like a pickaxe, and and and, and yeah, they they come up and they're like, uh, they're like. Papa Brogan wants a word with you. M me? I I got no I got no beef with Papa Brogan. And, and they're like, uh, and they're like, think you might have some pork. <laughs> um, and yeah, pork? they're gonna they, they're gonna they're gonna try and escort you to a uh, secluded facility. Oh, good. I uh, can I try to ride away? Yeah, that sounds like uh. <laughs> what do you reckon that sounds like? Does that resolve or prowess? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Is it is it like related to the attributes or it's prowess? So, is... uh, yeah. So let me. Oh so... yeah, physic. Okay, prowess is resist consequences from physical strain or injury, and resolve is from mental strain or willpower. Yeah. So I'm gonna say because I'm ru running away, it's probably prowess in yeah. this case. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds. I'd like to just briefly step in and make the case that it's about insight. Oh, right. Yeah. About it's, noticing it's, it's, that this is a bad thing. Yeah. It's about like seeing that the shit is about to hit the fan yeah. before right. you have enough right. in. Yeah. That you, can't, you just like, have that moment of like being like, oh, wait, I have knees that can come off. Yeah. And I need to get out of here now or it's going to be too late for that to awesome. be Listen. Yeah. The insight sounds reasonable. Yeah. My insight and prowess is pretty much the same. So it's okay from that. I, I think what happens is like, so as, as this like tense moment happens, like a D sort of like looks around and notices it's like about that time where the sun's coming out. There's like a lot of fog in the uh, late, like dusky time of day. Um, and there's like, she like looks, scans around and sees like, um, you know, a way, a, a little, like a, I don't know, like a box, an abandoned crate mm -hmm. next to like a fence at the back of the alleyway. And she's like, um, I think this is time to make my escape. Cool. So uh, I will just roll my result. Yeah, sorry, insight. 
All right, so you take three three stress from not getting oh, not getting no. kneecapped by the brogans. And honestly, that's that's a, that's getting off a lot lighter than I expected. So. Oh well, I mean, I, I trauma. I, I get a second trauma from that. Oh gosh! Nice, great. So, Excellent. due to my incredibly bla- bad uh, yeah. earlier roll. Oh, oh my gosh! Ooh. Yeah. Um, we're in. So, we're in. We're in this together, V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely are. Then you, uh, you just hear them yell. Like as you run, they, you just hear them yell. Next time, Ela. Next time. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, we'll we'll let you pick that, uh, and we'll 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 go to another another downtime. Alana, do you have another one you wanted to do? I do have another one. Uh, while Luke is eating, <laughs> um, so I wanted to do a reduce heat action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. That's probably um, very wise at this yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what I wanted to do was basically put on the best um, outfit that I had in terms of makes me look kind of sexy and not like I live on the streets. Yeah. Um, and go to a bar that I know where a lot of blue coats um, spend time in their in their off time. Mm-hmm. Um, take a seat and um, basically look around and try to. Um, Basically, figure out um, how do I want to word this? I want to go up to somebody in the bar who looks like um, impressionable. They, yes, and I would like to uh, basically, in the sexiest possible way, uh, <laughs> <laughs> convince them to sit down and have a drink with me. All right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, that sounds like consorting. That's what I hoped. <laughs> I was very much trying to, uh, to yeah. put that across. I mean, you, you get, sorry, let me, let me rephrase I know that. I get to, what, you I know to I get to decide, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to make sure I worded it in a way that also made it sound yeah. like yes. Because it's like so interesting. Sometimes it's like borderline and you start to say something and you're like, no, hold on. That's not going the direction I want it to go. Yeah. Um, the player principle of don't be a weasel is very important. Yes. Yes. It's very important. Um, so what position would that be? That is, you're in a blue coat bar. Oh, wait, no, it's, yes. a, it's a downtime action. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Is, yeah. Just, is, the, is this the reduce? This is is reduce, this the reduce? Yeah, reduce action. action. It is, it's irrelevant. It's yeah, so you just go risky standard. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because there's very specific outcomes for the roles. Cool. Okay. Um, do you want to any... push yourself or do you want That's to... what I was thinking. Is there a devil's bargain or... Oh, I... yeah, there's a devil's yes. bargain. He falls in love with you. All right. I'll take it. A hundred percent. That's the obvious one. <laughs> My favorite it. devil's bargain. Yeah, it's, it's a good devil's bargain. There you go. Six. Awesome. So someone want to reduce three uh, on the uh, on the old... The old heat clock. I'll do it. Cool. Sounds good. So what does that bring us down to? Oh, wait. Um, sorry. I reduced it on rep instead. I picked the wrong track. Uh, it We're still down to four. Okay. You're on the, you're on the same rep and, and heat. Yep. Cool. We are as reputable as we are hot. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now we're more reputable. Yes, exactly. Um... I'm not sure if that was if that's an outcome that uh, that Nightfall is super into, but uh, <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> his name is Stev. <laughs> I love him, <laughs> Stev, my boy. You're gonna go far, Stev Haig. He's got a cousin who hacks out. <laughs> um, where do mm. I? Where am I putting notes? I'm gonna put notes in. Some factions. Notes. Stev. In love with Night. That doesn't feel like a devil's bargain. Like, how useful is that going to be? I'm so fine with that. Oh, I'm sure it's not going to come in. Uh, uh, it's not going to be a problem at all. I'm, no, I'm, very sure, I'm, I'm sure a, a blue coat who recognizes your face. Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. Couldn't possibly come yeah, back to cool. fight us. 
Yeah. Come on, the blue coats are all criminals anyway, and that exactly. particular blue coat will let me get away with whatever because he's in love with me. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Um, <laughs> cool. I'm glad that uh, I, I, it's neat. Uh, um, I, uh, I just I just realized that Adi doesn't have to do another uh, another vice action now. <laughs> No, exactly. <laughs> that yeah, was my exactly. second plan. The, the hacks. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, that's okay because I, I... How many are you at? I'm on two. I'm on You're on two, two trauma. trauma. So, Every... But now I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not take trauma anymore. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, but play, I took... play, play fast. Yeah. Play, play fast. <laughs> I took my trauma as obsessed. Um, and I think that obsession is manifesting itself in uh, an obsession to avenge my mother's death because I'm getting mm. scared that I'm going close to mine. Like I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Uh, I like the idea that it's this thing of like I something. can beat. Like if you can avenge your mom's death, you can like beat Cheat back death. death itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so that's cool. the obsession I'm gonna take. Yeah. Um, Luke, did you want to do an action? Mm. So I think we, we cut in on this library. Because Holtz and I are just going to hang out some more. Mm -hmm. Like, that's my action. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think yeah, it's like this big old library. Uh, or like maybe it was at some point like a university, like back before the lightning barrier, like the second lightning barrier fence was put up. Mm -hmm. So like, I think I'm in Charter Hall um where like all the old university buildings and stuff are and yeah it's this like big old like <coughs> fucked up library and we just see bell like huge and wearing knitwear and then Holt following beside just like wandering through the corridors and like paused in an inter like an intersection of corridors and Bell has uh, I, I like the image that like you've taken different paths and you've both met at the yeah, like, we've, just, we've, huh. we've met back up. Yeah, and I've got I've got like a blueprint in my hands of what it used to look like, and I'm like Holtz, did you find the, the door? Holtz is like yeah. and like makes a pig noise and I'm like, damn it. Oh no no no, no. Like, Holtz 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 hundred percent goes Rawr. Oh it, I'm like, yeah, excellent. And I like cross off one of the junctions that like I just looked at and then put a tick on the one that Holtz was sent to. Mm -hmm. And I'm Holtz, like, is right, like, Holtz. Holtz is like, like, come on, come on, yeah. it's really important. And I'm like, yes, yes, Holtz, let's let's go. And I am like mapping both what is left of the actual physical building and also what the ghost version of it looks like and how those intersect mm -hmm. and compare to the original blueprint. And so I think this is survey. Yep. Uh, in, in the literal sense of that verb, like I am surveying a building. Yep, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah. And I got my boy Holtz. So I get a bonus die. Oh, very nice. That's, oh, that's, yeah. that's three. That's, that's real good. Um, this, is, this is the point at which I'm like, should I spend a coin from the crew stash because that would fill the clock? That's a good question. But if, uh, yeah, do you want to spend that spend that coin? Do you want to go to break and I'll <laughs> I'll figure it out when we come back. I want to go to break when you open the door and Is this uh, and this figure with uh, um, with like uh, the like top half of a skull of a person. Um, th this blue glowing figure with like a static arcing off of them, with the top half of a skull of a person, and then um, and then just like uh, it looks like um, many uh, entrails like dropping out where they would have uh, where they would have a jaw, like as if they had like um, uh, like bowels coming out of their jaw or whatever. Um, like a cool and then jellyfish person. And then yeah, and then just the rest of them is like there's a rib cage, and then there's just more ribs coming out to create like uh, to create like spiked arms and uh, and things, um, and it like rears back and li like lurches toward you, and I think that's where we'll take our break. I feel like at this point I should mention that because I have not done a re reduced uh, vice thing, I take Yay. one stress, and I also take a second trauma. 
I mean, yeah, we'll find out in a minute. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 